Hey coaches, Lee Tafter. Welcome to Speed Tips from My Garage in the Classroom. Today is episode number 179. Let's talk about a progression that you can use to get lateral power in the hip to be able to move laterally. So whether it be a shuffle or a lateral run step, doesn't matter, but we have a, an emphasis that we need to have every time we're working with an athlete. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna progress it a little bit further and I'm gonna go ahead and add a band, okay? So I'm gonna put a band around me and show you how we do this. And the reason I'm gonna start with this, with most athletes, I don't always start with it, some I do. If I find that they can't feel force application angles, what do I mean by that? So if they give me a defensive stance like this, I'm very vertical oriented. I'm not gonna move really well this way. It's just too difficult, okay? But if they naturally get down and give me this, then I know they understand projection angles, okay? So the band is gonna immediately give them a feedback because with this tension that I have, if I have a, a young athlete especially, or even a new athlete, but they get close, they're gonna feel that pulling them and then it'll make them feel that. So progression number one is simply lateral hip power and disregarding what the front leg does in the gait cycle of lateral movement. Okay, we're not worried about that on phase one. All I want to do is push. So what we do is we get a nice loaded ankle, okay, load here, and I want to make sure I have a good angle, and I'm very light on this box, okay? I got a nice two-inch box, and that's it. And that's purposely because I want this side of my pelvis higher because it's going to have to clear anyway, okay? So from there, we get really light, and then we just project over. Okay, we load, 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 and extend. This one clears. Push. Again, load, load, push. Okay, now we want them to eventually be able to use the synchronization of a push and a pull, never a pull, then a push. Okay, it's always push, move the center of mass, let this leg continue that push and that center of mass movement. Then we continue into the gate cycle. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get that same angle. Notice I'm perpendicular here, but now I'm going to open because that's what's going to happen just naturally through laws of movement and biomechanics. My body will just naturally, this kneecap will clear if I'm doing a live shuffle. So we're going to start in there. I'm going to use a little bit of my foot, my heel. I'm going to pull myself, but after I push. So we're here, we load, we push, and go across. So now I'm going push, come across, okay? So again, push, push. Great exercise to get the athletes to feel the action of building hip power into using hip power, continuing the momentum that this hip developed, and then we would eventually just continue that next one on the very next time. Hey guys, we'll see you again for another speed.